night. Let's check it out. Oh, just a quick look. I'm not sure if this is where I'm going to stay. it again hmm. would have been perfect for the hoochie too bad I didn't bring it <laughs> let's think Exactly, am I going to put the tent here? All I know is I'm going to need this immediately because <laughs> I am getting eaten alive by midges, not mosquitoes this time, midges. Way worse. Just been putting it on my legs. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know if you can see them, but I'm covered in bites already. That was like all of a <laughs> all of a couple of minutes of being here. So, uh, something to look forward to. Um, yeah, welcome back. We are, uh, we got an opportunity just to sort of nip out. We're not too far from where I live. Maybe a bit of an hour, maybe an hour up the coast or not even. Yeah, we've just come for a bit of a, I had a bit of a hankering for the mud crab. Maybe some garlic butter mud crab with some chili or I'm just going to wing something. But hopefully we get some mud crab. So I think it's just going to be a really simple overnight. Uh, well, I can stay for two nights, but I think I'll just stay for one night, especially if the bugs are this bad. But nice opportunity to sort of come up and have a bit of a little open fire and just muck around. And uh, hopefully we come good with some fish. I'll have a bit of a flick for flathead and I'll uh, put the crab pots out soon. But I guess we better get set up. This spot does see a few campers through it. Unlike the islands and other places that I get to go sometimes that are a bit more isolated. This one is definitely not one of those. But it's still a nice spot, you know. So... Uh, you basically see out there, it's a lot of tides about halfway down now, so not quite as picturesque as it was when I first pulled in. But I was just checking out a couple other campsites, just seeing if there was anything better around. But I think this is the pick. Yeah, someone's had a fire here. I think I might just put the tent. I don't know. The wind's meant to drop, like just over there is the nicest spot, except the wind's just hooking straight in. So this, right, this spot here's just got a little bit of protection. So I think we'll just go straight here. There's an old fire pit here, we'll have a fire just straight out here and it might be nice. The first thing we'll do is pop the tent up. Bought the uh, hiking tent this time, just because I wasn't sure where I was going to camp. Wasn't sure, you know, I wanted to try some new spots. In the end, it would have been perfect to have the hoochie in between these two trees, but I wasn't sure what I was dealing with and what the ground cover was like, so... We brought the hiking tent just for something different. But we'll smash it up quickly and then we'll go and search for some firewood, get a bit more prepped up before the sun goes down too low and then we'll go and quickly chuck the pots out. Hopefully we get some crabs by tomorrow morning and that'll be our breakfast and lunch and uh, we'll be sitting pretty. Should have bought some long pants, that's what I should have bought. The old trackies. But, um, but we didn't, so yeah. Anyway, tent up. Clothes on top. These are the exact same clothes that I was using as the demo. <laughs> so everything's pretty much packed for when I had it out to do that uh, what gear I take video. So it should make it easy. You tent fly. We got our pegs and the actual tent. Which way are we going here? Not sure. Oh, more pegs. Forgot these ones existed. I guess they'll be good for pegging out the bottom. Just gotta figure out which way I want the windows to face. How far away I can have it to the fire. <laughs> shake them down and they all sort of pop themselves in.
guess like that, I think. Sort of. Grounds is pretty hard actually. Don't even really need to knock them in that far. Could almost just use regular pegs, just metal pegs, rather than sand pegs here. But at least we know we're not going to blow away anyway. <laughs> uh, let's uh, open the door and hop in. If we can find the zip. <laughs> Lovely. And we've positioned the window perfectly so we can just look straight out and get a nice sunrise in the morning. That's done. Comfy. The head will be up this end. Have somewhere to sleep. That's a good thing. Let's go get some firewood. We we'll probably put our fire about down here somewhere. Maybe just around here where this last one was. We'll dig a little bit of a hole. And then we'll go and find some more wood. Don't want it too big, it's just me, but that'll be very nice. Trying to get all the bits I can on the beach, so that way I don't have to go behind and get too many at the back. We'll see how much we can find at the front. We might have to go just at the back to get some slightly bigger bits, but we're finding a few. Like this is just, you know, I've only walked like 10 meters or something, so if we can do this well, quickly, without going too deep into the mangroves and getting eaten alive, then I'll do it. Oh, now we're talking. Look at this one. That could be beautiful in the fish tank. Think about that. I do have a lot of nice driftwood already, so. But that is very nice. Maybe we could take that home and put it in the fish tank. We'll keep this one aside. Special. Okay, she's a little blowy actually. Hmm. But we better get him out. I guess I probably should put a camera up as well, maybe. <laughs> about to say that doesn't look too bad but I think someone's already got a pot in there yeah, yeah. I'll try the next one
probably should have set up first before I actually uh, came into the mangroves, but we'll quickly get this guy on. Get a, get a couple of cuts in him so he's nice and juicy and smelly. And then we'll just spear him on and in. Now, but it will come up. So we'll throw that over there so it's harder to see. <laughs> Don't want anyone checking my pots. And we will move along to the next spot. But <laughs> next time we'll set up before we come in close. <laughs> so we don't have to spend as much time getting eaten. Whew. Man, look at all the midges just coated with them. Man, that was intense. Bugs, bugs, and more bugs all the time, isn't it? Anyway, well, maybe we'll just float over this way. We'll quickly get this set up, and by the time I sort of float a bit further down, I should be in another good spot. So, man, there is midges everywhere. Can't wait to get back and get that fire going. Well, we did it, but it wasn't without its pain. <laughs> Man, another hundred bites. <laughs> but hopefully it'll all be worth it when we get some big juicy crabs. <laughs> okay, guess we might as well try and get this guy fired up as well, see if this works. I don't think it will work in this wind, it's quite windy. So we'll do it anyway, and we'll use the whatever we had left over from the last one. So what do we do, we go on. And we press start. And then we look in here and it doesn't look like it's on. Oh no, it is. There's a little slight orange glow in there again. Don't know if you can see that. Alright. Don't let me down, Thermosel. I'll put you right here. And hopefully, yeah, work your magic. But in the meantime, I've got another plan, which is light the fire. And that hopefully will keep him down as well. Oh, sounds like a camera's turning off. Great. Just got to keep stoking it. It is a light, but it's a little bit wet. That's better. It's much more relaxing now that it's going. You can feel the insects running away. It's uh, nice to have that going. Sun's just starting to get a little lower. It's always, sorry, it's a bit of a whirlwind start. I think this will just be like a one, one video trip because I didn't really have time to catch anything and it's a bit windy. Like it's really hard to fish in that boat unless I anchor up somewhere. And if I got to anchor somewhere, today it's just really windy is going to be pushing me into the mangroves and I'm getting eaten alive so I think I'll uh, save the delicious cooker for tomorrow. It doesn't really matter that I've got nothing to do and nothing to eat because I can pretty much just feed this thing sticks for the rest of the night <laughs> and I'll be a happy man.
it's morning. Ah oh, man. It's so good that the winds drop because last night it was howling. At least I checked the weather it was like at least 30 Ks plus with gusts of like way more. This tent was a rockin'. We were getting a little bit of protection, but not much. It sort of started to come straight in here, but it seems to have dropped off like it was meant to, which is good. Oh, battery's about to run out. I'll swap that over, and I guess we should get up. You know what? Maybe I'll put the screen up. There could be bugs around now that the winds drop. All right, well, I've uh, just even when I opened that, door just there for a second or that screen the insects flooded in I've just been dealing with some insects in the tent the problem with midges is they're so small you can barely see them but I've just been squishing them up against the wall here but there was so many so I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, avoid them getting out so what I might do is I might just jump straight into the uh, boat and go and try and have a flick for flatties it's still low tide now it's pretty much dead low right now so um, I don't know if I'll be able to reach my pots, but I should be able to. Just have to paddle them in like like last night or well, yesterday evening. What are we going to do? I can hear some fishing boats. Quite a few boats. Obviously, they're trying to take advantage of the good weather. They're all heading out to the bar there. But that's not what I'll be doing. So, might I go out, have a fix, fix for the, have a flick for a flatty. And if we can't get one, we'll go and check those pots on the way. We'll have a mill around there and then we'll make the call to see what we do because then we'll be hungry. <laughs> I don't want to go too close to the bank because I'm getting eaten alive already. We just got a little paddle tail. <laughs> well, we might get a little closer in a sec. <laughs> Test cast. Yeah, we need to do just a little bit closer would be better. You never know, we could get a little floody as we move down here. I think my first uh, trap is just down here a little bit, so we'll just float down a bit and see if we can find it but it could be so shallow that I might not be able to get in yet. <laughs> There's no reason why there could be a big flatty lined up against these mud walls. We actually got a hit then. Felt like a... It's a flatty. It is a flatty. See so if we can actually get him in here without dropping him. Ah! Oh, that's why you have a net, Rod. That's why you have a net. That's a little annoying. <laughs> Damn. That was my dinner. <laughs> that was my breakfast, sorry. That's a bummer. Anyway, have another go at that. That was a decent one as well. Nice size. <laughs> yeah, probably should get a little landing net for these kind of trips. Oh well. So if we get another one, that didn't take long. I just came a bit further away from where the pots are because it's just too, uh, it's too many midges and there's way too little water to get into where I need to get to check them so uh, but I'm still getting smashed by energies actually so it's not nice oh, man that's a real bummer that would have been a perfect size flatty he was perfect rookie errors doesn't look like it's uh, really happening for me does it <laughs> A 
couple more casts and then I think we'll go and check the pot. Geez, she's shallow, but there's the first pot. Come on, give me something. <laughs> Let's see. What can we see? We have, oh, we got one. Not a bad crab at all. Not the biggest crab and only one claw, but definitely legal. So that's really cool. And we've got another little one here. We'll chuck him out now. Let's just put you up here, mate. Maybe what we'll do is we'll leave him in there for a sec and we'll go and check the other pot. There is a little bit of fish there. Could actually leave the pots out, but we'll see what we've got in the other ones first. If I can get into this next one because it's getting very shallow still. <coughs> so. You guys wait there for a sec. We'll paddle over to the other one. But we're winning so far. We've got a breakfast, I'd say. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Gotta get that float as well. What have we got? Well, we got one, but I would say that's too small. It's definitely too small, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, bummer. Only one, let's see, what were you? Oh, you're a female. Oh no, you're a male. Yeah, if only you're a bit bigger, hey? There we go. Oh, he's giving the old uh, plastic a real good going over there. Geez, he's lost a few legs. They're not, not in my trap though. Must be fighting with other crabs or something. But, uh, alright buddy, let it go. I'm going to let you go. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, not the massive crab that I was hoping for the second pot, but, well, we've got one. <laughs> which is enough, but it's not the huge fish I was hoping for, especially with only one claw. This is exactly what happened last time, in fact, if I remember correctly. Got one and uh, couldn't find another. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave the boat there for two seconds and watch it float away. This will get really muddy in a sec, <laughs> but I couldn't be bothered waiting. I just wanna go and check it. <laughs> this could be a mistake. <laughs> Sometimes you just sink straight down. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Big muddy. Please be one. One really good one. It was in a nice spot. I rate the spot. Alright. Lots of things float. Nothing. You're kidding me. Not one. <laughs> That's very disappointing. Still got a mullet there, but half a mullet anyway. Someone's chewing it from the bottom, maybe. <laughs> ah, that's really disappointing. I was really, I put, put all my bets on this one. This was the one that I thought was gonna really come, come good. <sighs> Bummer. Well, looks like we're dining with one crab tonight. Ooh. A little flatty lie back there. Coming up onto the sandbanks. Take this up here. I've actually got some ice in here. So we'll put the uh, crab on ice. And that'll cool him down and then we can kill him humanely first uh, get rid of some of this water and then get the fire gun we'll get the crab in first there we go we got gotcha. you <laughs> not the biggest mud crab but fun size <laughs> all right buddy up here you go oh, he's not happy look he's two things he's held being held oh there he goes <laughs> Oh, he's back on top. Ooh. Okay, 
it seems a bit brutal but this way basically what it does is it slows their body temperature right down and they go into a bit of a more of a hibernation-y kind of state and it puts them so far down that then once you get them out you can quickly humanely dispatch them Small twigs and we're good to go. Keep feeding it some dry leaves for a second. Get a couple of twigs again. Check out like just that short amount of time. Just check out how many bites like on my legs and it doesn't take long, does it? They're all over me. <laughs> that fire seems to be keeping them down for now. I don't think I'll be leaving in that fire, letting that fire go out until I'm out of here because <laughs> it's full on. Well, we'll restoke, get the coals going, and then we might start uh, cutting up some ingredients. There we go. Let's get a couple of these big boys on, that one especially. Let's get it really going. Lots of hot coals. So we'll do a stack of chili, a stack of tomato, and uh, we'll just make it like a Bit of a saucy kind of mixture. It's nothing professional about what I'm about to do. I'm just going to be throwing it in the pan and cooking it all off and making it into a big mix. <laughs> Normally we'd be cooking off everything first, like in separately, but I think I'm just going to chuck it all in. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to last. Maybe put one hot chilli in as well. These, those ones are just the bigger chilies aren't very hot, but the small ones do have some bite, so can still feel those bugs sort of coming around. I've moved right directly into the fire, basically. <laughs> the fire's just behind me, so the smoke's coming right through. And we'll just dice this up. Got me not so sharp $8 Woolworths knife that I bought. <laughs> See how long it lasts. Won't be too shy with the garlic. Quite a few cloves. That'll do. It's all going to cook down for a while anyway. Could put salt and pepper. I'll definitely put some pepper in there as well. Oh. Just use as many uh, sort of salty. Just that instead of salt. So we'll just start heating the pan up and get it going on. Put that butter in, we'll put a bit of oil in straight up as well. In a big chunk of butter, maybe half of that. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. But we wanted to get pretty saucy. So ideally, I wish I had a couple of crabs, but we'll have to work with the one. We'll see how far it goes. You could just eat that by itself and it'd be pretty damn good. <laughs> Buttery tomatoes. I love like tomatoes in the morning, like for breakfast as well. It'd be so good. So basically we can just start popping these straight in actually. Let's see if we can get that crab down into the sauce. Lay it down flat like that. Get the core in. We've just cooked this top bit. Oh, sorry, I'm not. The camera's not really on it, is it? <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Just pop those crab pieces in. See, we can get uh, all this sauce over it. Just want to make sure they cook all the way through. Might have actually add a bit more liquid in there. Just so we've got more to cook the crabs and it'll still, and then we'll just wait till it boils down, let that crab flavour mix through. Little taste test. Mmm, it's already got a nice crab flavour. Oh, it's got some chilli bite. It's delicious though. Got some chives. Normally I'd use shallots, but the shallots were too much to carry in the bag, so 
went chives. Let's stoke that fire up so the bugs don't come back. Make sure we get both sides nice and cooked through. Gonna get that claw into the heat. Look at that, it's only half cooked. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get this going properly on this side. Saving me from the insects. Make a bit more room. Jeez, that does look good though, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna call that done and get it off. Oh, Ooh, it's heavy. Get our chives, sprinkle them over. It really is a pretty special meal. Like, look at that. Jeez. So, I'm gonna really enjoy this meal. I feel like I've earned it once again from the bugs. All right, let's try and crack this one open. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot. Oh, oh, well, there we go. Well, that looks pretty good to me. Look at that. Wow. Crab is just so sweet. It's got such a unique taste. It really is delicious. I need to really go for, at it with my hands and everything. So I think this might be the wrap up. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next vid. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.